The subject of our vlog today is multi stems extra extra large. As you can see, we got quite a few multi stemmed uh, trees in the nursery. And one of the nicest features is if you prune them up a little bit, you can look through the stems. And also, if you plant them in a city or in a village, they bring much more nature into the city because the ground volume is much bigger than of a single stem trees. And another uh, special feature is that uh, they don't look as stiff as uh, if you would plant a single stem tree. So let's go into the nursery and see some uh, multi stems. Here we have a lot with uh, Texas uh, Bacata. And uh, these trees are, uh, as you can see, with a lot of different uh, stems sprouting uh, from the ground. Those trees are about uh, 35 to uh, 40 years uh, old, uh, which is nothing compared to the age what they can get in the future. They can uh, become 1000 years old if they have the right uh, planting location. So uh, they have a nice future ahead. Here we see Celtis uh, australis, which is quite uncommon as a multi-stemmed uh, tree. It is um, very suitable to grow under dry uh, conditions, uh, such as uh, uh, dry city uh, climates. Here we have a row with Parotia persica, with very tall stems, as you can see. Uh, the stems are flaking off a little bit, they're nice and grey, and they have a nice little head on top of uh, the stems. And as you can see, the red flowers are already appearing, because we had a quite mild January uh, this year. So this looks uh, very spectacular. Here we have some more lots with Parotia persica, as you can see, but then with multi-stemmed branch to the ground. And also the red flowering is uh, quite visible uh, at this stage. Here we have Prunus serulata Sunset uh, Boulevard. It has a quite uh, vase form narrow uh, crown and uh, the flower is quite spectacular in the springtime. It's uh, white with a pinky uh, rim uh, around it. Uh, it's a quite uh, straight uh, tree. Uh, here you can see uh, Prunus murky Amber uh, Beauty. Um, this one has a stem that uh, flakes off and it looks a bit uh, copper uh, brown. Very nice uh, multi-stemmed uh, tree. Here we see Salix Alba Shermesina with this orange uh, yellow uh, wood in the winter time. As you can see, it's a quite fast growing uh, multi stem, which is very suitable for uh, landscape uh, situations. Here we have a very special type of platanus. This is Platanus orientalis minaret. And minaret stands for a quite narrow growing uh, crown, as you can see. Uh, these trees grow up to uh, 12 meters uh, in height and one of the special features is that it gets a bit of rot uh, growing on the trunk when it gets older and also the quite dissected uh, big leaves. Platanus orientalis minaret. Here we have some Zelkova carpinifolia verschaffelti. And the special feature of Verschaffelty is that he's a bit smaller than the normal Zalkova carpinifolia. And it also has a leaf that is a bit more dissected than the normal one. And also in the winter time, the stems are very spectacular looking. They're uh, growing all directions and uh, they're flaking off a little bit. So it's a quite spectacular tree also in the winter time. Zalkova carpinifolia Verschaffelty. Pinus sylvestris is used a lot as a multi-stem uh, nowadays, especially because the stem is very attractive, it flakes off uh, with orange-red bark. Here we have a lot with the Carpinus bretulus, a very versatile tree. Look at the curves uh, in the trunks and in the stems. And also they're dropping their leaves a bit already because it's quite late in the winter now. Here we have two lines with uh, multi-stem Polonia tomentosa. And as you can see, Polonia is a quite fast growing tree because this is the shoot it has made uh, last summer. So uh, you can see how much they do uh, in one year. Uh, from this part here is where the new uh, flowers are developing uh, this spring. And the flowers are blue lilac, so it's quite spectacular when they're uh, flowering. Uh, it's a quite wind sensitive tree, so you have to pay attention for that. And it needs a lot of space, uh, of course. Thanks for watching our vlog about Multistamps XXL. Hopefully we'll see you next time again. Bye bye.